Welcome to the five tips for this moon phase. Yes, we cover both the new moon, the full moon and the eclipses. So for all your tips and needs, the index is above and it covers everything we cover inside this video and very separately we do the astrology. We do have the transits at the end of the video. It is imagery, but it's a go-to resource. Let's get into it. A very warm welcome to Yulda's Readings 5D. I am an astrologer, a psychic medium and a soul coach. So if you do need anything in that domain, come join us. We do have lives on Friday at 10 a.m. and I do automate posts. We also have the Twin Flame Collective I support and coach. If you do need a personal booking, you can go to the link directly below. Without further ado, into those five tips. Hi guys, welcome back. We're here to do the new moon in Libra five tips for the month of October. Now, yes, we are going to get into the tips and hopefully guide you through this transit. It is a very difficult time of the month and it's one of those hard months in astrology um, at this point in 2021. And yes, this is really going to kick off for the next six to 12 months for us and it can link back to around six years ago. So if you can think back to where you were six years ago, it can give you some eye-opening points. Now, this is going to be number one a new beginning and we cannot have a new beginning without an ending this can be completing tasks it can be closing a chapter or having new opportunities come towards us it can be a time that is best to ease into the situation to clear your home charge your crystals uh, do your detoxing and really meditate as well as journal number two this is the judgment card in tarot it's very balanced in effect being in the sense of libra it can be justice it can be legalities contracts it's also that element of yin and yang so having to look at our love life and it is affecting all of us collectively as well as our contracts and the give and take in situations we can initially feel quite triggered so we do need to be careful to allow the energy to come through us and those new beginnings to come number three this in the shadow sign it's really important to understand the shadow sign and current positions in where the astrology is the key points are at the moment mercury is in retrograde it's in the house of libra and it will be for a good portion of the month as well as a lot of planets going direct secondly it is in the house of Mars at the moment, and that can make you extremely fatigued. Libra um, naturally is a thinker. It's the intuitive side of things. It's the emotional side of things, whereas Mars is very action oriented. So you can really feel that you're being pulled in two directions during this month, but the retrograde effect can also benefit us because it does mean with these new beginnings, we're going to have an opportunity to quality check it like an audit. Number six, angel number six, it does break down to sixth house in astrology relates to work ethic environment, which is very much similar to Libra. It is love. It is contracts. It's very Venus in orientation. It can be our food, the people we mix with, the things we do, um, our work area, I love life. So wherever it's falling, which I will do additional updates relating to this for each zodiac sign, and we can touch base with it throughout the month. Number six is all to do with the element of spirituality over uh, materialism. And again, it's about balance, everything in moderation. Number five, it relates to Athena. Now it's both a female goddess and with masculine qualities and that's very similar to Libra. Libra is a masculine energy and occurring in the moon it is feminine in notion so it's intuition, it's intuitive and emotive um, as well as masculine and reactive and especially because we have it in the house of Mars we can get a little bit grumpy moving into it. So without further ado let's get into the next part of the video. Now, because we want to cover all bases to get the best out of this month, we do have the bath ritual now to cope with the transits. Do bear in mind that this is a good time to do those detoxes. So charge the crystals, 
use your bath remedies if you don't have a bath you can go in the shower and do the same thing where you're using aromatherapy as well as using your god meditation candles now it is very heart chakra and orientation so you can use your pink quartz as well as if you do feel super unmotivated just ease into it and the second thing i would advise is really balancing out those lower chakras now as above we also do need to include like i mentioned the chakra systems now we also from a holistic approach can eat the food groups and they're the pink food groups and again it is heart centered energy both pink and green but again if you do have the issue coming through with the throat chakra and the sacral chakra it will be due to the fact that we have mercury retrograde and with that sacral chakra we're really wanting to become creative so if you can balance those chakras if you're feeling a little bit confused and wait till three days after things are going to be more movement orientated and fluid now as i mentioned above on the screen for your reference will be coming up the actual dates they're only for two seconds and then we're going to be moving into the guided meditation to support with subliminals very separately we do have your zodiac sign so if it's something that you're wanting or if you want a coaching session the link is directly below save these to understand the transits otherwise without further ado let's get ready and grounded for your guided meditation As an added bonus, we have added a guided meditation with Moon Mantra. Come join us. Taking a deep breath in. Casting our worries away, allowing the new to come in, trusting in balance. We're guided to be grounded for a moment. Everything's noisy, but we are still. too shall pass. I want you to sit for a moment in nothingness and allow the new to be reborn. Taking a moment now, we're going to anchor our feet in. We're acknowledging the moment we have for ourselves, where we have, when we have, and allowing. Okay, opening our eyes, we're ready to face our moments. I hope you join us again for the five tips. If you do want your astrology, we do have the video that's separate. You can find it at Yildiz Readings 5D. I will try to remember to put it in the link above. Otherwise, please come through and have a look. We have weekly content as well. And if you do need a booking, you can go to the link below. 
I trust that you've enjoyed your experience here at Yildiz Readings 5D. We cover all the moon updates, the astrology, your zodiac signs, as well as psychic updates. We do have lives, as I mentioned, every Friday at 10 a.m. and I do automate posts. As we only have a limitation of three posts a day on YouTube, I automate it through the community tab so you can be in the loop to the lives. I'll see you during the week. Take care.